What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Sultai uh, Mutate deck. I'm enjoying this one quite a lot. I, if you did not check out video one, please make sure that you do. Uh, we kind of go over the deck a little bit more in detail so you can kind of see all the cards, why they're in here, that kind of thing. Um, you can also check out those sweet games, which genuinely, they were very, very sweet. So I am extraordinarily happy with this list. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, we do get the turn one Gilded Goose, which is nice. Let's go ahead and drop that out there. Uh, and we'll see what we're up against here, depending on uh, what they sh they play for us. We may go ahead and mutate this out, um, but we'll see. Interesting. Um, I think in that case, I'm just going to pay to... We'll create a food at the end of the turn on their side, um, or, you know, depending on what they do here. Um, it looks like this is a bit of a... Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Um, I always hate going up against these Witches Oven decks. There's so many of them in the ladder right now, obviously, but it's just so annoying. Uh, good news is Jim Razor now has a target. <laughs> so, don't feel too bad about that. Um, we're taking a pretty big hit here, but let's do this, and let's go ahead and do this. This just gives us also the attack bonus. Um, not to mention, we just have some food laying around, so we might be able to, um, gain a little bit of life long term. Um, uh, we'll see. Go over. We could destroy either one of these, but Witch's Oven is definitely the one we want to get rid of. Uh, and we'll attack in here. Um, I said in the last video, and I do think that holds true, a lot of what this deck is looking to do is not necessarily attack like crazy in the beginning of the game. Um, it's great to be able to, like in that situation, I think it was probably correct to, um, but I don't think we needed to. Uh, this deck is much more looking on on the end of like, hey, let's just outvalue whatever the opponent's trying to do. Huh. I hate that we have so many shock lands, to be honest. Um, but let's do this. Hmm. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure. Let's get this out. This is just something that they kind of have to deal with. Um, not to mention it's just a good blocker. I think here we can take the turn to develop our board a little bit. They may have uh, like a um, murderous rider or something along those lines here. Yep. Uh, they did leave up the three mana, so that was a bit of a telltale sign, but. Now that they've used that, you know, obviously we still get to keep our, our mutate guy around. And I think it was better to play out a second creature there than to mutate onto this one, given that they had that. Obviously, that would have been pretty bad for us. Um, and now, you know, we can always play this again, which is great. Uh, so we will see what we want to do. But um, hmm. Let's just play this out as is. We're going to spread our board out just a bit. We'll go ahead and play this land out because we do need as many lands as possible. <clears throat> and we're not going to attack here. Again, we got to be pretty careful <clears throat> um, of them having just more removal. Uh, this is a deck that is mono black, so obviously they're going to have some. Uh, so we just have to be careful. Don't like this, uh, but we'll see what we can do about it. That was interesting. They were just looking to draw, I suppose. Gilded Goose, huh? Um...
trying to think. Uh, if we... We can mutate this twice. Let's do this, actually. Let's get some lands out. Uh, we'll put this under. It's gonna let us get... Get a green source here. Um... We'll just play this out, I think. Um, no attacks. We just have to be so careful about removal in this deck. Um, and this priest is going to probably make us sack something at some point here. This just gives us something, the Gilded Goose, to sack that doesn't feel too awfully bad. Um, so we will see. It's a tough matchup, though, for sure. I mean, any sacrifice deck right now is going to be tough to go against unless you've got the tech for it. This deck doesn't have too much tech for it. Uh, we did get to see the Gem Razor taking care of the uh, the Witch's Oven combo, which is great. Um, absolutely love that, but it's, uh, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, glad we at least got some land out before that happened. That's pretty good for us. Okay. Mm -mm. I mean, we'll play the land. Might as well. Uh, don't particularly need any more, though, to be honest. Uh, let's play Umori. Uh, let's name Creature. Hmm. <laughs> I think let's just play out the Parcel Beast. Uh, I don't like not mutating this, but like, to be honest, against a Priest, it's really nice just to have a lot of options. Um, and this certainly gives us more options to sacrifice uh, in the long run, so I'm actually okay with this. I am going to attack in here. This is a fairly risky attack, because if they kill one of these, um, they can certainly get in for some major damage, but we're going to try it. Um, I don't think we can sit around too long considering we don't have a lot in our in our hand anymore um, And this is really our only option long term. So uh, This thankfully does give us a way if we need to to do something, but this is a problem. Okay Don't like that um, But we'll see what we can do here Interesting they did that. I guess that makes sense, because that is the biggest threat, but... That is a problem. For sure. We don't have a card in our hands, so that's actually fine. They're just trying to get as much power on the board and deal as much damage as possible here, which makes sense. Um, okay... I mean, that's a card. Um, we play it. I, I mean... I'm gonna throw it over. Alright. We're only getting one hit off of this, and it's a land. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and gain a few life here. And unfortunately, we really can't attack in. Um, if we draw another mutate card, that's awesome. <clears throat> Just because it's going to give us, you know, a way to do this, but they're going to be able to sacrifice some stuff and kill whatever they need to, really. <clears throat> I think we've lost this one. That's okay. Don't win them all. <sighs> okay, so... I assume they're debating on sacrificing with Priest. Okay, they are. What do we get rid of here? I think we just get rid of this. Kind of don't want to get rid of that, to be honest, but I think that's what we do. <clears throat> Cavalier are very, very good in this deck, by the way. But they do have to be somewhat careful. I mean, they're going to probably gain some life here, but this does deal damage to them. So. Yeah. 
Ooh. Yep. Okay, so do they just win? Yes, they do, right? This deals two damage? Yeah. All right, well done, opponent. Um, this deck really goes from zero to 100 pretty quick uh, when you're bringing stuff back like that. Sorry for the frame rate drop, guys. Network issues again. I know I say that like every video and it's annoying, but our network here is garbage. I meant to um, test some, some changes out, but I didn't yet. Sorry about it. Uh, regardless, uh, fun game. Um, we're, I, I mean, that is the weakness of this deck. If they've got, uh, removal in the form of those murderous riders or cavalier, <coughs> excuse me, in this case, like, obviously that's going to be a big hit towards us. So that makes sense. Um, this is a weird hand. Uh, I'll be honest. Let's try it. I don't love this though. I'll be honest. This feels kind of bad. Um, what are we up against? A Zerda deck. Okay. That's interesting. Zerda is the activated ability stuff, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is... This is going to be a fun one. Uh, four color Zerda? They oopsed. So are you out there? We're gonna have so many Gilded Goose geese. Gilded geese? It's ridiculous. Cause why not? <laughs> Never seen triple Gilded Goose on turn two before. I gotta be honest, that's a new one for me. Um, yeah, we'll pass. <laughs> a Cycling Zerta deck? I mean, Cycling Zerta makes sense, but like four color Cycling Zerta? I think this might be an ambitious Zerda deck, but I might be wrong. I am slightly confused by this one, but we'll see. Um, I've seen Zerda decks plenty of times, but normally they are not four color to my knowledge. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's play you out there. Oh, yes, please. Um, so, like, here's my thing. I kind of just don't want to do anything this turn. Like, we're going to take a hit for three. That's going to suck. Next turn, though, we've got this, which we need a lot of mana to do, but we will have exactly six. Um, if we don't do that, yeah, I'm just going to not do anything. Um, I'll be able to pump out an extra food token here. I mean... But next turn, we just get to drop this and start hopefully going kind of ham with it. Or just do this and kill kill Zerda. Or whatever else they do. So we'll see. Yep, here comes the damage. I don't love this deck, I'll be honest. Um, generally, these cycling decks I don't love. Uh, the Is It deck felt okay. Um, but I still didn't love it, to be honest. It just didn't feel good enough. This, like, the the Boros version, which does run, like, the Stingers and everything like that, I don't love either. Um, they just don't seem good. They seem a little slow. Now, that all being said, we're probably going to lose to it. Um, so, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I don't know, though. It just doesn't doesn't quite feel, feel all that powerful. Um, yeah. Can I not do this? Can I? One, two, three, four. Am I not? Am I missing something? Mutate onto this. Am I missing this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got the six. Is it just because it was not wanting to do that one? Yeah, okay, I see. That was kind of strange. Gilded Goose is a weird interaction. I don't know why it doesn't work super well in the interface. It just feels kind of strange. If you kill this, I'm going to be so mad. Oh. That felt terrible. Okay, at least this still comes into play. That's fine. Um, all right. Well. Deal of damage. Sure. 
At least now we get to block this guy uh, or either of these two if we need to. They may have the, uh, what is it, arcane whatever, where they get to deal a butt ton of damage. Which would, like, suck, but... Okay. Sure. Oh, no. Um, okay. So... Hmm. Let's play Aldemori. Uh, let's do creature. And we are not going to attack here. Um, now they just have two creatures so that they have to go through. So they're not, ideally, if they can't remove anything, then they're not going to be able to attack. Um, do still have to worry about the stinger. But... We can deal with that with the bat at some point, uh, so not terribly worried. Uh, we just have to be careful, because they are at a, a good amount of mana here. I mean, technically, if they just hit a lot of cyclers, then we lose. Um, oh, well, now we just do lose. Yep. There we go. We lost to it. Um, we might have been better off playing the bat over the... The whatchamacallit, but I think either way, they um, since they killed the creature, it didn't matter. Um, it wouldn't have counted as mutating, I don't believe. So let's go to game three. Let's see how we can do. I feel as though I have to sneeze. Maybe. Maybe not. Whew. Anyway. Uh, still enjoying this deck, though, guys. I'll be honest. Oh, what? No, we can't keep that. Um, this we can keep. <laughs> what do we put back, I wonder? Probably just Castle Vantress, right? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe it's Gem Razor. We're gonna say Gem Razor. I don't know. That I mean Gem Razor's a great card. I just uh I think we're looking to kinda skip turn three, uh, with Paradise Druid, and that would be normally when we play the Gem Razor, so because uh, we would want to mutate it, usually. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ramp up. Potentially against Mono Red here. Which would be a very interesting matchup, one that we have not yet seen. Um, I like to think we'd be okay, just because we can kind of block anything pretty easily. <laughs> Not here, obviously, but like normally. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Next turn, we can get a Mori out if we would like. Uh, we do have to be slightly careful because they can just kind of. Hmm. Do I just want to do this? Kind of do. Let's do this and then throw the Gilded Goose out there. Kind of don't want to tap this unless we have to. Um,. Solely because this is such a good card to target, you know, with a mutate ability. Um, it also just means they could kill this, which we don't want them to be able to do, obviously. Okay. So. I mean, we can just play a 6-6. Six, six. We're just going to play a 6-6. Six, six. This is very difficult for them to do anything about. Um, we'll drop the Gilded Goose here, I think. Uh, yeah, no attacks. That's fine. I mean, we're still at 19 on, like, turn 4, 3 or 4 against a mono red deck. That feels good. <laughs> Granted, this has not been a very fast start from the mono red deck. I will say that. They get to kill the Paradise Druid. That's going to suck. But... Worst things have happened. Ideally, we just need to draw a land uh, so we can mutate onto this guy and then go ham. Oh, look, a land. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Draw the card. Discard a card. I'm actually going to discard that. We need the lands. Um, and there we go. Um, I'm going to throw that on the bottom now. Uh, it is nice to have that black, but... 
I'm gonna swing in. That's eight damage. And that's a good chunk of damage. They may block. Uh, they may not. They probably won't. But I think it's right to attack. Annex. Yeah. Let's do this. Do this. Under. Get a couple extra counters. Get a land and get two hits off of this. Like, seems pretty good. We just draw so many lands. Um, let's play out this. Uh, creatures, go. We're swinging for 10. <laughs> they could very easily, by the way, um, have any kind of, like, Embercleave or, you know, something along those lines. They're about to get... Obviously, a couple extra creatures here. But there we go. I think that was game three, right? We lost the first two and won that one. All right. I like this deck. Um, here's my thing. Uh, to to kind of sum everything up with this deck a little bit, it feels amazing uh, to be able to mutate, get a lot of effects. Like, even just there where we were able to mutate onto uh, the Star X like twice. Um, and so we were able to get just a couple lands out in this case, but obviously there's a lot of options for better stuff that we could have hit. Um, we got to draw some cards and discard some cards with the other, uh, the symbiote, uh, throw some counters on the Star X as well because of the recluse. Like all the synergies are beautiful. Um, genuinely feels really, really good. It's very easy to get those synergies out as well. It doesn't feel like you're having to really, really push to get there because, you know, like Gem Razor is a three mana uh, mutate. Um, the the Star X is six for sure, so that takes some getting there. But with things like Gilded Goose, with things like Paradise Druid, stuff like that, it's not too difficult to get there. Um, and not only that, but like it's just nice to be able to play out creatures a little bit early. And thanks to Amori, you can. Um, as well as some other cards. So that feels great, uh, as well as the symbiote too. That was what I was thinking. And so that feels really, really nice uh, because on the ladder right now, you are against a lot of like small aggro decks. Uh, Mono Red, for instance, like we just saw, you can kind of just outpower. Um, there's very little they can do against a 6-6, to be honest. Now, if they've got Embercleave, they can certainly try and kill it that way and get around it. Uh, but once you get up to like a 10-10, like we were at 10 power, 10 toughness, Nothing on their side could have killed that. Now, if they had gotten an Embercleave on an Anax while it had four power to start with, yes, it would have traded. But, like, I, who cares? You know, like, that's that's getting rid of a huge threat. So, uh, I and we can rebuild a little bit faster because we've got stronger stuff to rebuild with. So, I love the feel of this deck. Now, uh, weaknesses. Against stuff that's like the Luris Sacrifice deck, where it's like they're not trying to win by just attacking, they're kind of trying to win by recurring threats, um, they do have a bit of an advantage because they can block your big stuff and it doesn't matter. They, they get to pull it back. It, who cares, you know? Um, th it's also really difficult if they've got like a good removal package. Now, a lot of decks right now kind of don't, uh, to be honest. Like, you look at things like uh, Jeskai Fires, for instance, they don't always have great removal. Now, sometimes they do, but not always. Uh, the Garuda decks right now have Agent of Treachery, which sucks, excuse me, if they steal something of yours, but they're not going to be able to mutate it, it's, mutate it. So nine times out of 10, it's just going to be a big dude on their side. Um, and so like, it has some some nice stuff. The built-in tech with Gem Razor is great against like Witch's Oven combo. Um, so I like it for that. Uh, it also does fight fires pretty well uh, because you can just blow up the fires of invention. So lots of really, really nice tech, but it's not good enough uh, to get around some of the big removal stuff. Um, like we were see seeing M Murderous Rider get rid of, you know, our big mutated guy. Um, and that's the problem. You mutate onto one creature a lot of the time. And so you're not spreading out the damage so much as you're just kind of piling on top of one. Um, and while that's really, really powerful, obviously... A removal spell takes that out so i think that's the problem with this deck but it still feels really really strong um and not i'm i mean overall i think we broke even on wins to loss ratio but i think that um given a longer stretch of time we may see this deck kind of edge up a little bit and get a higher than 50 percent win rate now i don't know what the win rate is uh, according to the stats right now with this list but i'm loving it 
Uh, so I like this list. I would highly suggest trying it out uh, on the best of one ladder in particular. Don't know how it would do. Uh, you know, you obviously get sideboard tech if you're going into best of three. So you could definitely mutate this, pun intended, uh, to kind of fit that need. Um, but I, I really like this. I, I think it's a fun list. I highly recommend you try it out. The list is below. Uh, if you're interested in submitting a deck list to us, please do. Uh, we're happy to try those out. So uh, anything that you get, we're, we're happy to do. So thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate the, uh, the watching and the, the support that you guys have been doing. Super, super appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.